All right, what's going on everyone? Captain here back to the Marvel Contest Champions video. Today is a pretty exciting one, one that I have been contemplating for quite some time. As you know from the title, we're taking up some champs to rank four. The new biggest bad. Well, I feel like it's not a, it's not so much as new anymore, but it's still the top of the game, top notch for now. As we know, we have the announcements of seven stars, of course, and with that comes rank five six stars uh soon to be i'm sure but for now it's still rank four so it's still a big deal uh and if you do not know i'll show you guys what i'm currently working with at rank four i only have five i just have done my first five still uh so this is my prestige right here basically which is pretty solid for me right now 15.744 obviously i don't have any relic or anything like that yet um lots of stuff was announced by the way since last we spoke so I, obviously i didn't really address that it's not really my thing i don't really dive into all that stuff i leave that for other content creators to provide you with because there's plenty of other good ones that they always explain things much better than i can so i just let them do it so that i can learn it from them so um i stick to just rank ups and fun stuff like that so openings of course so here we go this is what i've got with my uh first five all different classes so that's pretty cool you can see there is one class that is missing and that would be the skill class spoiler i will be taking up one champion from the skill class today so we'll knock that uh check off the checklist but the other two i think are a little bit more interesting maybe not the most obvious picks but uh, maybe they are i don't know one of them i feel like is more out of the blue than the other one the other one i feel like it's gonna be more obvious uh but we're gonna get into it here pretty quickly but before we do i'll go ahead and just kind of go quick run through of the class by class uh show you guys who you think like get your guesses who you think if you see someone that i'm gonna take up in the science class there here's the skill class as i said there will be one from this and i should also preface this with what my main focus is in the game right now uh in the last month obviously we had battlegrounds which battlegrounds season one the official not the beta or anything just finished today so i had tons of fun in the battleground i did i i didn't make any videos or stream as much or any that i as i would have liked um i just kind of got caught up with other stuff and didn't get around to setting up time to do it um, but i did grind it out as much as i could and I made it into uh, the Vibranium tier. So I made it to, I think that was, that's the Gladiator Circuit or whatever. So I made it to the top there at least. So that was cool. I got to compete in there against some tougher competi uh, competition. So that was fun. Um, so we'll get those rewards here soon, I'm sure. Uh, I think they said there's some kind of delay because they're changing the reward system. So here's the final class here, Mystic. So get your guesses in, guys, while I'm kind of rambling here of who you think I might be taking up to rank four um but yeah so battlegrounds is what my main focus is right now along with alliance or my last video if you haven't seen it i mentioned that i left for loki i titled it that i got kicked a little bit of a spoiler not a spoil a little bit of a clickbait there for you guys so apologies but yeah two loki as a whole just kind of crumbled and we all for the most part well some of us stuck together in like one battle group in this new alliance Everyone else went their separate ways. So, but this new alliance, our main focus is strictly alliance war. We run map five for AQ, so that's basically irrelevant. Super easy. Don't even have to worry about it. Um, so alliance war is our main focus. And for me, my personal focus is battlegrounds. I want to really stack my deck, get better at battlegrounds, make sure I'm keeping up on whatever the current meta is and everything like that. So that's where my focus is for trying to figure out who to rank up for these so these three champions i'm going to take up all have a very good use in battlegrounds and alliance war potentially um <clears throat> so yeah that's where i'm at so starting off since i've alluded to it already we're going to start with the skill class and i'll try to go through this video super fast i guess I mean, i've already kind of rambled long uh so we'll, we'll i'll skip through all like the leveling up process and everything uh but i've got a lot of good options here especially since we're talking battlegrounds a lot of fast characters in the skill class you got uh thor ragnarok even once he's built up like if you can get off as one special three in battlegrounds then you're gonna breeze through that fight 
Nick Fury, obviously we all know what he can do. Hit Monkey, a lot of damage over time, as well as just high damage output. Korg, very solid defender. Mole Man, both of the fits, both of those categories. Shang-Chi, strictly offensively, but he can get you through some fights. Blade, I've kind of tested him out in Battlegrounds. Honestly, wasn't too impressed. I just like, I had him in my deck for a while and I just never really found a scenario when I was just like, oh yeah, I'm using Blade here. So I didn't really ever pick him very often. So I ended up taking him out, but still just a fun rank up. Killmonger, one of the best defenders. Uh, Black Widow, Falcon, Kingpin, and Crossbones even is a guy who have, I haven't taken a rank three yet, but I kind of want to. So there's there's a lot of good options here. I've even seen some people using Misty Knight very good. Black Cat. So we've got a lot here. But we're gonna do the one, you know, that's that's pretty obvious, guys. Like I think I think we all know what's coming here. We're gonna be Nick Fury. We're not gonna get anything spicy on this one. So let's get him on there. Nick Fury going up. Also, I should mention I do have one rank up gem. I should have all the catalysts to take up all three of these. ISO wise, I believe I'm good. And I think gold, I don't know. We'll see. At 14 million, 14.6 is what we're starting with. It should be fine for only three rank ups. So here we go. This is my first official, sixth, first, first official, first official skill champion, my sixth overall. That, there we go. That's what I'm trying to say. Should have cleared out my ISO beforehand. Uh, didn't do that. So one sec. All right, here we go. So Nick Fury, I mean, what is there I can say about Nick Fury that hasn't already been said? The guy does it all offensively, defensively, whichever you need him for, he's going to be a beast and he's going to be one of the best at it. Uh, as long as the defender can bleed offensively, he's your guy. Even if they can't bleed, it still isn't the worst option, honestly. <laughs> you always have that second life to fall back on in case you get into danger. Um, so yeah, he's Nick Fury. He, he's insane and battlegrounds he is going to be a absolute force and seeing him at rank four here i can imagine might you know snag a couple more bands from him he already gets banned a good amount anyways <clears throat> i personally don't ban him my strategy in battlegrounds is not really to ban characters that like that i have in my own deck if that makes sense so if i have them in my deck I'm more likely not to ban them because I don't want to ban them from my deck as well. You know, I want to just ban someone that's going to penalize them. So there we go. He's finished off there. Um, there we go. <clears throat> I said I was going to skip through all that, but I kind of rambled there talking about why I was taking them up. So I guess that's fine. Uh, there we go. Nick Fury, number six, rank four. Pretty awesome stuff. So now moving on, if you're paying attention there, you might've noticed I did not get rid of that Mystic ISO. That is because the next character is in the Mystic class. So who are we gonna go with here? Again, Mystic class, there's a lot of good potential in here. Some great defenders in Dragon Man, uh, Ebony Ma, Mephisto, uh, some, very, some of the very top defenders for uh, Battlegrounds, especially you know if someone doesn't have a Human Torch, stuff like that. Um, I've even, it, it was kind of weird. Once I got into the gladiator circuit, I started seeing a lot more people use long shot, which was interesting to me. Uh, if, in the right scenario on, on defense, they're using them on defense. Some people use them on offense, but I saw him more on defense. I felt like, and he actually caught me off guard a few times and killed me. And it was kind of like, Oh, wow. All right. I see you long shot. Um, then you got man gog, you got man thing. Uh, I, I don't, this might be a spoiler. I don't think I ever showed this in a video, but I think it was my last featured six star that I opened. I opened up Wong here. So I have Wong, don't know much about him yet, but he's, so he's, he's not in contention. Um, Sasquatch as well. So a lot of, a lot of good defenders in this class. Tigra even, Diablo's great. But the one I'm going with is the Moo Man himself. Yes, I am going with Rintra. A uh, bit of a wild card here, seeing as he's not uh, awakened. So that's kind of the risk here that I'm doing. It's like, I, I, I don't know enough about him to know if I want to use a generic gem awakening, a, a generic awakening gem on him. But I have played around with him since he's been at rank three, and I've seen some absolutely bonkers damage that I've done with him. And it was enough for me to be like, I see why a lot of people rank this guy up. I'm going to take him to rank four. Uh, no regrets. So... I am very excited to bring Rintra up to rank four. There we go. Um, 
yeah, he's going to be a lot of fun. I've been bringing him into Alliance War, uh, especially for this current meta. He's really good. Or, um, yeah, because what is it? Like, any anytime you just need to prevent the opponent from getting buffs. I can't remember what the global is exactly right now. It's like slipping my brain. But he's been good for it because it prevents the buffs from happening. Uh, and so that's always going to be useful in Battlegrounds, which people have kind of referred to him as an easier version to play than Tigra. And I can kind of see that because of his neutralize and everything, all, all that he does there. But it's really that the root root mechanic, if you end your light, your combo with the light attack in the corner, it, with the opponent in the corner, you get rooted and then you just spam that light attack away. I've gotten his, uh, what's it called, up to like, 40 or something i did not need to claim that much mystic i was not paying attention um oh well and but then he throw a special two man that thing hits so hard i think i hit like a, a 200 000 plus sb2 that didn't even crit yeah let that sink in two over 200 000, and it wasn't on any special it was literally at realm of legends i'm pretty sure is where i was testing this and that right there alone was just like okay yeah i'm taking him up <laughs> so kind of cool and plus i get i feel like too the awakening of him or him not being awakened it's not gonna have him toward the top of my list in battlegrounds so you know a lot of people see those rank fours right away and just go for those bands he might not get banned because of that because he's a little bit lower so you know a little bit of a strategy there keeping him unawakened um so there we go that is rentra and i just realized i did not oops did not put his picture up. It was right there. I had it ready to go. I forgot to hit. I always do that on these. When I set it up for hit ahead of time, I forget to do it. All right. So there we go. First two rank ups, Nick Fury and Rentra rank ups number six and number seven. Who is going to be lucky number eight? Well, we're going to hop on over to, well, before we do that, actually, let me dump that ISO that I just collected. All right. So which class is going to get the last rank up? Well, that is going to take us over into the cosmic class, which in my opinion, probably has some of the biggest damage dealers in the game, as well as a few kind of annoying defenders. Uh, but to me, I see the Cosmic class as more of an offensively based class, where the Mystic is more defensive, I feel like, at this point. Uh, but and same with Skill. Skill's kind of the, a good mix of both. Uh, cosmic, though, you got a lot of offensive tanks here. Um, obviously, I've already got Hercules taken up. You got Corvus, you got Angela, Cosmic Ghost Rider uh not Terex for offense uh, but you got null hyperion even captain marvel i haven't obviously she's only ranked two but i think a rank three even a rank four one for battlegrounds that I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to doing that she's one of my og favorites now it's, it's weird to think she's an og she's been around for quite a while now um she's very good i awakened my medusa recently i'm sure she could find some value in battlegrounds uh but today we're looking up more toward the upper half here a guy that has been recently used by me quite a lot in alliance war because he does benefit from the offensive tactic in alliance war and that my friends is mr null if you're not aware of the current uh offensive tactic it heal blocks the opponent if they have three or more debuffs on them and he puts a lot of debuffs on the opponent pretty quickly so he counters that out pretty easily the defense tactic um where they get that's what if they get knocked down and they have yeah you don't need me you know what it is i don't need to go into it but no we're taking null up guys a guy that i wanted so badly when he first came out i think i went for a good amount of cav crystals and stuff like that uh didn't end up getting him got him a little while back now i think it was actually might have been july 4th that i got him can't remember took him to rank three pretty shortly after he's not awakened but that might be changing here in just a moment. But first, let's get to the rank up. We're going to use the gem there that we have had for a little while now uh, and slap that guy with that. So, Null, what I mean, he is an offensive beast. I'm not going to forget this again. We've got his picture there ready, towering over everybody. Um, uh, offensively, Null can do so much damage so quickly, uh, and that's why I'm excited to get him awakened because then I can only just ramp him up a lot faster. It's going to be nice. Um, and even defensively, he's kind of caught me off guard a few times in Battlegrounds, where I'm just like, if you're not fully paying attention and ready for that inverse control, inverted control, I mean, it, it'll mess you up. And it's happened to me many times. So 
I can only imagine it will happen to other people if I put him on defense. I can't be the only one, right? I'm not the only one that doesn't know how to fight him. <laughs> um, but at the same time, he can be easily countered. This is more of an offensive rank up for me, um, especially for Alliance War. Uh, but I think in Battlegrounds as well, it's going to be more offensively used. But he might find a certain meta here and there that he's good on defense. Uh, so there it is. That is the three rank up. But as I kind of alluded to there, Noel's not going to be unawakened for much longer. And that is because, well, I'd happen to see that, one, there was a level up going on right now. In case you're wondering, 189,000 points right there from three rank ups, from rank three to rank four. That's what it'll get you. Also, there's an item use going on right now. Well, that's convenient because if I go back to Noel here and click on him, I just, you know, click use items. I happen to have two generic awakening gems. And what's right around the corner? cyber weekend good chance i may be getting a third one there so why am i holding on to these I, I gotta use one i could even use them both one on him and one on rintra i've honestly contemplated that so let me know in the comments if i should use that other one on rintra i don't know maybe maybe i should i know karate mike said he's worth a generic so that was kind of like really okay um but we're starting off by using this first one on null here so no hesitation let's use it let's go ahead and start pumping in these signature stones we've got 18 cosmic ones so let's go ahead throw all of those ones at him and we have that takes him up to there we're, I, I, we're going straight to 200 i'm pretty sure i think i can so let's start with the five plus fives or six plus fives get him there and we'll go back to the generics we've got 125 of these plus a few in overflow at least we're gonna get him close i don't know if we're gonna oh yeah oh yeah we're getting him to 20 we're getting him to 200 all right there we go 174 confirm 125 six stones disappeared just like that okay and now we go to items we claim and use five gets him to 179 so we need 21 more stones and you might be wondering captain you have no more six stones how are you getting this guy to 200 well let's hop on over to the store here we swipey swipe on over to the battlegrounds store one of the great additions to the game if you're grinding battlegrounds buy these six stones you can buy 125 or sorry 50 of them sorry, i was looking at the capacity but still 50 of them once a week if you have enough that is fantastic that's why i'm not too worried about throwing all of these into him i'm gonna buy all 50 of those and that cleans me out of all my inventory pretty much right now which is fine when it comes back i'll grind more and get more back so no let's do it let's get him all the way to 200 and three two one boom there it is null 200 brand new rank four along with nick fury and the moo moo god himself uh rentra a lot of fun playing with him so far so there we go i've got eight rank four champions guys and those videos kind of rambled on a little bit longer than i was expecting uh, i hope you guys still hung around and had a good time along the way and i look forward to bringing more content for you guys in the future but that's going to do it for this one guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time